how would you describe yourself as a judge? And have you changed over the years as an incumbent? I believe that I'm a judge that, like when I first came into office, I promised that I would serve with uh, fairness and impartiality. Can't hear you. Excuse me, I apologize for that. I'm so short that I can't even reach the speaker. <laughs> so when I first came into office, uh, one of the promises that I did make to the community would be that I would serve with fairness and impartiality. And I believe that I have done so over the last 20 years. And I think, I just want to touch a little bit on a question that was asked a little while, a little while ago. I know it's not close to me, but one of the biggest challenges that I've found, and I still am facing this challenge as judge, sitting on the bench, is that sometimes you, we are the court that is closest to the people. And so, sitting on the bench, you have people in the community that come in with cases that are filed, and you know these people. So, Serving with fairness and impartiality, you know, is really, really important. And it is a challenge when you know both parties that are before you in a case. And so I just wanted to kind of throw that out there. That, that, that is the more what, about that, uh, what about that law degree thing? We have, uh, when you first come in as Justice of the Peace, you know, I served 20 years, not served. I was employed for 20 years with the district clerk's office before I came into this position, before I came into an elected position. And um, we have, uh, we get 80, 80 hours of training, the Texas Justice Court Training Center, and then we, 20, year, 20 hours after that, every single year, we have continuing education uh, that's provided for us. So yes, we do have the training that is needed in order to serve as Justice of the Peace. And Nico, any thoughts on that? Well, I'm No, I, 